hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing something new that is uh, we are going to install a Django which is which is a best framework for the web application okay and it is a high level python web framework uh, okay so that enables a rapid development and also it helps in the securement and maintain of our website so uh, we have been doing a front end for a long time now so we'll be learning also learning the backend using a Django as a framework and we'll be doing that uh, after learning some Python courses as well okay on the next video as a developer we uh, we, we can use some of these modules to create apps website and from the existing source and we don't have to write and everything from this scratch as well using this Django okay so I have a uh, PDF as well for you so you can know how to install the Django so we'll be using a command prompt okay we'll be using a command prompt and following this alt step to create or to install a Django so first of all what we'll need to do here is um, go to the start menu okay then search for the run R U N or you can just press win R and then search for cmd so cmd is a command prompt okay so then press ok so after you have opened this page let me just zoom it for you so you can just go uh, make your folder over here or you can just uh, go to any drive you have so i have three drives over here c d and e i'll be creating my folder inside this e drive okay so to go to the e drive uh, so as i've already told you we'll just need a some basic knowledge of a uh, command to run or to install this django in your computer okay so just write e and then colon okay so we are inside a uh, e drive okay so what we'll do here is just uh, we'll just follow this um okay let me use this okay we just so we'll just follow these uh, steps over here so first of all it is telling us to uh, create any folder let's say name django okay so let me write d j n let me write d django okay so this is just the name so we'll just go inside the django okay uh, in g double o so we are inside a django folder then just create another folder name class okay so then go inside the class again for that write cd class so right now we are inside the class so what we'll be doing here after this is we'll be creating a virtual environment so for that what we'll need to write here is just write python okay then just give a m then p e n v v e n v so this is a virtual environment you are creating a virtual environment okay so just wait for some seconds then it will automatically operates mm -hmm. so okay so we have create our virtual environment so to know how uh, if we have created or not just go to the folder that you have created so django okay we have created a class and we have created our virtual environment as well okay so now just come over here so then uh, what we'll do here is just uh, go inside the virtual uh, environment folder then inside the script then inside then activate it okay so let me first uh, uh, go to the vnb folder then just let's see our uh, directories so we need to go inside this script so what we'll do here is just write cd scripts scripts so right now we are inside this uh, uh, script okay scripts so now what we'll do here is just activate it just write activate then press enter so as you can see we have our virtual environment activated so you'll have this over here so it that is that means you have activated your virtual environment so after doing this what we'll do here is we'll just come back to the class folder to come back to the class folder what you'll just need to do is write cd then write double full stop then give a slash then again give double uh, 
full stop so right so now you are in the class again so uh, now what we will do here is just write pip install django okay so this will basically install the django over here okay so and after installing the django it will show like this mm, you need to just wait uh, it will it is installing as you can see so it will take some times okay so it depends on your on the speed of your internet so as you can see we have successfully installed oh sorry So as you can see, we have successfully installed uh, our uh, Django. Okay. So now what we will do here is we'll just uh, create our start to project. Okay. So write a Django, then write admin, then write start project. Okay. Just uh, let me just increase the size of this. So write the start project. Okay. Mm okay so write start project then give any name let's say i i will write uh p r a r o z then just give a space and then a full stop so as you can see just give any name and then full stop okay write django uh, dash admin start project then just give a space and then the full stop then just press enter so it will just create our, our start uh, project okay so when you go into the folder as you can see we have our pros name a folder and with a manage.py okay so after doing this uh, what we'll need to do is just write this code that is python manage.py migrations okay so just write python uh, manage.py make migrations so what this will do is uh, make migration is uh, responsible for packaging of peer model changes into individual migration files okay so after doing this you can see there is no change detected you should have this uh, okay no change detected so after doing this we'll do a python manage dot py sorry this is dot py and then write migrate so this migrate uh, so is responsible for applying those to your database okay so this is responsible for packaging up your model change into a individual migration file so whereas this is responsible migrate is responsible for applying those to your database okay so just press enter so we are on the ninth step right now mm, okay enter so okay uh it should come like this okay so it should just operation to perform apply all migrations okay admin so after doing this what we'll do here is we'll just create a super user okay so to create a super user just write python dot manage dot py and then write create super sorry create super user without any space okay just write manage dot py create super user then press enter so after doing this uh, it will ask for your username let's say i will write p-r-a-r-o-z-0-1 uh, and then just give your email address so she is i mm, okay just give any email address so when you write the password like it will not show but uh, it is working okay so you don't need to worry so it will not show but uh, it is working okay okay uh, just write bypass password validation and create user anyway so I will just write why yes okay so it will show it uh, you have successfully uh, created a super user okay so after doing this what we'll do here so if you have come up to here you have created a successful user then uh, python with a manage dot py dot py then write run server so after doing this you will have this link okay just without any clicking anywhere on this uh, command prompt just write just copy this and then come to the any 
okay come to any folder and then just write uh, this one then press enter so you have it will show the install work successfully so if you have come to this error just press uh, control and then C to come back to over here okay okay and then just you can just write again a uh, Python manage that's run server then it will just give you this link you need to copy this link and just uh, paste in the URL so after doing this uh, what we'll uh, do here is just write a slash admin then it will just take you to the admin page okay so uh, here you need to just write your name okay mm, and then just give a password that you have given in when you create a super user so then just write a login so here you are in the admin page so okay so we'll be learning from this uh, after this and the next video so thanks for watching guys and i hope you have uh, learned how to install the django and if you haven't yet then still we have a steps to install a django using a command and you can use this step to uh, install install the django and you can download this uh, pdf from my video description as well okay so thanks for watching guys uh, see you in the next video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do like and subscribe my channel so see you in the next video and keep in touch with me if you want to learn a uh, backend using a python framework using a python as a django framework okay so see you in the next video bye for now